Hi guys, Mark Wood here, Director of Instruction at Chichester Golf Academy and World's Best Golf Destinations. And welcome to the final video in the chipping series of how to build a better short game. And today I'm going to give you two of my favourite drills that I love to do and I love to get my, my clients working on in actually improving their, their chipping around the green. So these are kind of game based kind of drills that you can do, there's two of them. The first one is what I term as par 18. Now I learned this off Cole Morris, uh, he's a golf psychologist, great golf psychologist. And par 18 is basically around the green you give yourself three easy up and downs, three medium up and downs and three hard up and downs around the green. And the idea is to chip the ball close enough to single putt. So with an easy up and down, what you would do, you would say, okay, well, look, I'll just be on the apron of the, the uh, side of the green here. And this is going to be a relatively easy up and down. So from here, I'm just going to chip on. And then I would go and hold that out. And I'd do three of those and I'd be keeping the score in, the, in my mind. So let's have a look at what a medium up and down is going to look like. And then let's have a look at what a hard up and down is going to look like as well. Okay, so medium up and down would be where you're just a little bit further off the green. You might be in a little bit of semi-rough around the green. You don't want to make these too hard for yourself in terms of the medium up and downs around the green. It's all about just testing yourself when you're, when you're playing this par 18 game. Don't make things too difficult. Don't forget you're trying to build your confidence up, practicing getting up and down from around the green. So I'm just in a bit of semi-rough around the green here. I've got about eight yards of carry before I get over the semi-rough and onto the green. So from here, I'm just going to focus on getting into my good setup position focusing on land and area having a couple of practice swings just to feel what I, what I need to be doing and then from there go ahead and execute the shot and again once I've chipped that on I'd go and put that out and then again I'd keep my score so let's have a look at what a hard up and down is going to look like around the green for you so here we are with a hard up and down around the green I've got a bunker to go over I've got about 35 feet of green to get the ball up to the flag so try and make these more kind of um, real life situations that you would get out in the course when you're giving yourself these easy and medium and, and hard up and downs. You know, try and practice them as much as you can. It's quite good fun doing it as well. Do it with a friend, it's even more fun then. You can have a bit of competition. But um, here we go. So I'm gonna have a couple of practice swings just to feel the pace that I wanna go at. I've got a landing area in mind on the green. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and execute the shot. That's nicely into my landing area and uh, it's on the green, probably about sort of six feet away from the hole. So not a great result for me. It's giving me more pressure to get my putt into the hole. But like I say, have a practice on this. It's really gonna to start to help your, your short game around the green. Let's look at drill two, which is my ladder drill, where I'm trying to work on my landing area and being precise at getting the ball in the landing areas a little bit more. I set up what I term as my ladder drill. I've set a cane on the ground, which is about, 10, 10 yards away from me. And then I set another cane beyond that, about two paces on, another cane, another cane. They're all basically paced out there at two paces apart. So if you like, I've got one, two, three, four boxes laid down on the green. So my aim now to work on my touch and feel is to take this first ball and my aim is to chip it within the first two canes, so within that first box. So here we go. Perfect, so that landed within the first two canes, so I hit my target. Next one, I wanna land in, in between the second and third cane. Perfect, it landed nicely in between the second and third cane. So I would do this and I would work on this for say half an hour, where I'll be trying to land the ball in between the canes, working all the way up to the, the fourth box. And then from there, I'd work from the fourth to third to second and to the first box back. And then I'd pick out random boxes. And I might say, okay, well, this ball I want to hit into box number four. Oh, a little bit beyond that. So let's have another go at that one. Perfect. That landed in between uh, in, in my box number four, which is perfect. Now I might pick, pick out box number one. Perfect. So you can see there quite quickly, you can really improve your touch and feel around the greens by using this ladder drill. 
I really recommend that you do this. If your technique's pretty good and you and you make consistent good chipping actions and you and you make good chipping um, contact with the ball, but your your touch and feels poor, you're not going to improve as a chipper because you're missing your landing areas, and as a consequence of missing your landing area, you're not getting the ball close enough to the hole. So work on the touch and feel. Great drill, this. It's my uh, ladder drill. Give it a go, and let me know how you get on. Post your comments below in the box below, and. Uh, Give me a thumbs up to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free and uh, I love helping you guys out. Thank you for watching.